after seven years of being married, I did not know this about Peter. Hey, my lungs are... <coughs> yeah, enough said. Good morning. Good morning. Fireworks in the background. Happy Tuesday. We are going to go pick up some groceries. Wow, this window is washing out our faces. We're ghosts. We're going to go pick up some groceries that Mary ordered for us. And... I want to warn you. Oh. I didn't do a very good job. Oh, really? No. But you did make dinner yesterday that we haven't cooked yet. True. So we have dinner for tonight. So Great. I planned that well. Yeah. Actually, I did. That's why I didn't order groceries because I knew we had stuff, but I didn't know what we had. Mm. So we had that dinner, mm -hmm. and then I think we still have other stuff in the fridge to make. So what are we picking up? Random snacks? Toaster strudels <laughs> and bottled water. Awesome. All right. We will bring you guys along. We got our groceries, and now... We are actually going by a horse stable because I'm going to ask them, I'm gonna to talk to them about the potential of like once it gets warmer out, maybe trying some horseback riding as an exercise. Um, so we'll see what happens. And I also just talked, I just called the Dexcom support people because yesterday my blood sugar dropped twice and I felt it but I look at my Dexcom and it's like not telling me that I'm dropping. So I was like, I don't know. And I also got some weird readings, like the three question marks and that sort of thing when I inserted it um, on Sunday or whatever day, Monday. I don't remember whatever day it was. So I talked with them and they basically recommended that I just take out this sensor, the wire that's in me, take that out and put a new one in and try that. So just part of the medical life phone calls. You guys know all about that. But anyway, <coughs> that's what we're doing. Driving yeah. in the rain. Yeah, rainy day. We're driving in the rain. Just just mile. Turn left on the whole street. All right, so. Peace out. Hey guys, we are home and we stopped by the horse stable but nobody was there. So Mary called and left a message. So we'll see. Uh, what comes of that but I'm gonna stick the dinner in the oven that Mary had uh, made yesterday you can watch yesterday's vlog if you want to see her make it but she kind of made up this recipe and I think it's gonna be really good so I'm gonna stick it in and wait in a little bit welcome home Don't mind me. I was just in bed. I do not feel good today. My lungs are. <coughs> That's how how they are. I'm gonna serve us some dinner. That's the dinner I made yesterday. So, okay, bye. <coughs> this looks really good. So, let me set you guys down while we try this out. You can sit right there. Oh, sorry. What? That's good. You like it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like pot pie with <clears throat> potatoes. Yep. It's delicious. Okay, good. I just learned something. After seven years of being married, I did not know this about Peter. That I like celery? He likes the celery. You th thought I just tolerated it? Yep. I thought you tolerated it. I don't... Because I, because you tolerate it? I don't know why I thought that. 
Mm, I but do like celery. I made big chunks of celery in this. It's really good. And he likes it. Mm -hmm. And that I That was am, an amazing dinner. I'm so glad you I liked it. I actually put some barbecue sauce on the potato rounds because it kind of made them into like... Our favorite food. Yeah, potato rounds with bacon and cheese and barbecue sauce. Hey, now that I think about it, I liked the crunch that the breadcrumbs gave. What if we did that on our potato rounds? Mm. No? Uh, you can't mess with a good thing. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I am getting a fever, so I am going to go relax for a bit. And But Peter should tell you what he accomplished. Yeah. You saw me go down in the basement and work on the table, but I actually, after that, went outside and worked on finishing the fence gate. Um, Joe and I had started, we built the frame of the fence gate, and then I spray painted it, and then the other day I ran out and got, like, um, so we basically made a square, f or not square, rectangle frame with a beam in the middle. Or actually two beams in the middle. Uh, so it was divided in thirds. And then I got metal fencing that I stapled onto that frame. And so it made a gate so that we can... Because our driveway is open and we have a gate there so that our yard is fully enclosed for Ollie Boy to run around. So, it is done. The yard is enclosed. So that was a big success. Hey Google. Pause. I, yeah, enough said. Yeah, I just got a fever, not feeling good. We're just <gasps> hanging out, watching baking show and letting her body rest. Cause sometimes your body tells you that's what you need. Oh, I wish I could go to sleep at 7 p.m., which is now. It's almost eight. <gasps> <laughs> Even closer to bedtime. Okay. I need to change my Dexcom sensor. So, stop sensor. There's that. And then, oh, so cold. Right. Okay, start next sensor. Start sensor. Cool. Whew. I already did my best pretty much ready for bed <laughs> this sensor will be ready in about two hours it takes about two hours to um, like start the sensor up but hopefully this one won't have any issues like the last one did that's technology it, it's really really helpful when it's working and when it's not working it's useless so hopefully we can get this back up and working I still have a fever. Low grade, but enough to make you feel kind of poopy. So I'm just gonna, um, oh wait, I still have a little bit of vest to do. So I will finish that and then move on with my night. Okay, so this is really weird. This is what the sensor did when I tried to start up my last one. It says like no reception, so I'm gonna have to call them again. I'm gonna have to call Dexcom again, babe, because my receiver is saying that there's no reception or whatever. Oh wait, no, now it's back. Now the pie is back. So that is what it's supposed to do. And then for about two hours it does that and it fills in. That's weird. See, I don't know whether I should call him or not. Right, so the way we do it is basically there's a soft reset button inside that little hole. And you see 
either uh, the tip of a paper clip or a toothpick to press and hold down there for about three seconds. In a row. Okay, thanks. Thanks so much for your help. They said since it is loading now with the little green thing, then just leave it alone. But if it does anything weird again, do a reset, which there's a button on the back apparently. Um, so anyway, I don't know. It's odd. Guess what? My temperature is back to normal. Just in time to go to sleep. <laughs> so that right there, that is chronic illness life. You've got a temperature during your best hours of the day, like during the evening, you've got a fever, and then right before you go to sleep, it goes away. I'm glad it went away. It would have been so cool if it went away earlier, but I'll take what I got and I've got a normal temperature, so I'll take it. You know what time it is? Popcorn time. <laughs> this is becoming like a nightly routine. Sometimes. So that but, means? But she alternates between the kettle corn and the regular popcorn. And I saw you ordered more today. I did. But the thing is, I am not a microwave popcorn girl. I know. This is like totally a new adventure. It used to give me a stomach ache. Huh. <laughs> oh, oh. I love you. I love you. And, and as, as always, always, we, we will, will see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night. And contrary to popular belief, that was not That scripted. was not planned. No. I was going to say the same thing because that was, it seemed like it was. All right, buddy. Say good night to the peeps. Alright guys.